Hello there, I am going to show you how to attach your Celestron OAG to a telescope. And the first thing we want to do is take off the eyepiece, like so. And now we want to take off the visual back, so let's unscrew that. I'll try and keep my hands out of the way. And this is the first part of the Celestron OAG. It all comes with the, the package. You can just screw this onto the back of the telescope. And if you had a focal reducer, it would screw right onto the focal reducer as well. Okay, so that's on. And the next part we're going to attach is the actual OAG, the Celestron OAG. And um, like I said, I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. So we're going to put this on there just like that. I'm going to tighten it with the thumb, thumb screws. All right. Just like that. And the next part, this is also part of the OAG, um, it would fit right there. And normally you could leave this attached, but I like to take it off because I think it's easier to actually attach my DSLR to this first before I put it on. So what I'm going to do, here's my T-ring that you need for any DSLR that you want to mount to a telescope. It will screw right onto this attachment, like so. And then I can detach this to the DSLR. Let's tighten that like that. Now I can just push that in. I guess I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way here. And now our DSLR is mounted to the OAG and mounted the telescope. And this is where your auto guider would go right there. I have a star shoot auto guider. I also have a load star X2 on a different telescope. You would put that right there, turn it, tighten the thumb screws, and you could actually adjust the focus with this for your auto guider. And of course that's one of the challenges when you're using an auto guider is to get your auto guider. It's one of the challenges of using an OAG, I should say, is to get your auto guider and your DSLR camera or CCD in focus at the same time. Um, it can be done. I just heard it's a kind of a challenge. And uh, that's how that would look. Of course, the auto guider will have a couple more cables coming out of this plugged into the telescope and the computer. But that's how easy it is to at least hook it up. But there, there is one issue with this. And it's if you want to leave your OAG attached to your telescope at all times, um, it's a problem if you actually want to use your eyepiece with it, but let me show you what the issue is here. Let's see if I can take this off. I'll uh, just, let me take this off first. Loosen the thumb screws. And take this off. I'm going to put this back on. This is part of the OAG. Now, if you want to use your telescope for visual use and not imaging, and you want to just leave your, your OAG on at all times, here's the problem. It doesn't support 1.25 inch. And uh, Celestron gives you a lot of extra um, extensions if you need more back focus, but they don't give you something that will fit 1.25 inch on the imaging end. Um, one, it's 1.25 inch up here for the auto guider, but not down here. So what I had to do is I bought an adapter for that. It's a 42 millimeter to 1.25 inch adapter. So I'm going to screw this on like so. Now I can actually use my eyepiece and never actually have to take the OAG off again. So that helps out a lot. And I'll show you one more trick. Not really a trick, but something useful. If you use um, a filter, a 1.25 inch filter, you're gonna need to use a 1.25 inch adapter with your DSLR. So this, this adapter really comes in handy even if you wanna mount your camera to it. So 
now, and I intend to be using it this way, and that's that. Now, it's very easy, just leave your OAG on at all times, um, and, and this adapter really makes it easier. And well, one thing you should know is that um, this OAG weighs at least a pound, so you need to make sure your mount is going to be able to support the extra weight. If you're right at the tipping point, you, you may have a problem. But anyway, that's my demo. I hope it helped. See you later.